up and running. Hello to everyone on Twitch and on uh, YouTube. I should put on the multi-stream chat, but nonetheless, I think most people are on Twitch, which isn't saying that much at this stage as I get back on. Soon enough, I'll get through to the masses. Welcome to Start Building Me, my daily concept, which is train daily. And uh, take your health seriously, folks. As I was talking about, I just need to switch on a light. Something looks a little bit off. And I will walk and talk. So, there's a shortage in doctors that everybody should know about. <clears throat> this has been on the cards in most countries for quite a long time now. Um, that's why I, for a long time now, have been talking about that backlight certainly makes a difference. Crazy. Makes me look even like I've got more sun exposure than I actually have, but I have had a lot and too much on the noggin. But nonetheless, I think Jazz isn't going to be here tonight because it's Wednesday. Oh well, I'll be talking to myself and I won't be long because I've got to be out to the sprinklers. And perfectly, I put up the caption for this or the description for this particular uh, video about grip strength. I did a lot of grip strength exercise today. The strength of your grip, it's like your neck, a very strong determinants of your strength. So cardiovascular strength or cardiovascular health is something that's really, really important because that's for longevity, processes all the garbage through your body. I'll stand a bit closer so it doesn't look so weird when I'm looking around. I've got to get back into the habit of this. Anyway, so the way you are trying to break down everything, even for beginners, I would say would be cardiovascular. First, get moving. Second, get grip strength and your hand strength because that will improve your strength overall. People with strong hands, people with strong handshake, grapplers, wrestlers, judoku players, jiu-jitsu players, I say rock climbers, motocross riders, cyclists, you know, you name it, there will be people that have strong grip strength. It translates over to a lot of other skills. So if you're a mechanic and working out in the shop, um, a lot of things require grip strength. So it's something I want to talk about today since it's been on my mind. Also, the CloudBot is functional again. I don't know exactly what happened. Uh, but I flushed the cache and it seems to be up and running again. So it's tallying for anyone who wants to do start building me. And there are going to be prizes and the prizes are going to be pretty cool and they're negotiable because I'm, I've retired and, you know, have been retired for about 10 years now. And uh, I do some contract work here and there, but basically I just run my own businesses. And... Um, enjoy my life, stay fit, stay communicating with my friends and family, and uh, eat healthily, hang out with my dogs, and my fur babies, as that cringe terminology is. Anyway, get on there, tell people to sign up by Twitch. Oh, it does work via YouTube, but I haven't got my multi-stream chat up here. I might start putting it on if I get more subscribers via YouTube, but traditionally the people who have come here have just been using Twitch. So you've got that, it automatically registers you, it registers your time and provides you with points depending on how many minutes you train. Uh, I might reset it quarterly, I might have a yearly tally, I might do a weekly competition, I'll change it up from here and there see what you people want, what is it worth for you people to change your lives and trains. It's a pretty cool concept, right? Instead of paying other people to train you, I'll basically be paying you to come and train. So if you can get off your butt and get away from your video games for 20, 30 minutes a night, I guarantee you, like there are, aren't many things that a panacea is a panacea, meaning the holy grail, right? The, the solution, you know, the golden ticket. But exercise really is, like even more so than diet, right? If you exercise and drink water, you're flushing your body out, you're producing endorphins, it will produce serotonin, or like you'll be able to, you know, produce more hormones which will make you feel happier and will improve your general well-being. And um, 
it's just it's a no-brainer folks and like brains as well like as i always say to, to people who come to start building me 35 percent uh, 35 percent 35 percent of the time it works every time 35 minutes a day of intermediate cardiovascular exercise is uh, a stat that has been provided by various um uh you know association of what, what do they call them um, or medical administrations or whatnot. So surgeons who, you know, study sports science and look at what's actually required for your brain alone, folks. Like obviously it does your body as well, so that's a fringe benefit, but it's uh, just as much for your mind as it is for your body. So I'm really trying to stress this and hammer this stuff home. I'll be saying it again and again and again until I'm going blue at the face or red in the face, probably at the rate that I'm going in this chronicle of Riddick tropical landscape that I'm in. But I really want to inspire people that training should be fun, it should be quick, it doesn't have to be hard, no pain, no gain is BS. Um, there are so many things that are just outdated and people need to have the revised information. It's, as people are saying recently, and I'm not going to talk about the pandemic, I couldn't care less. I know the lizard people are in charge and I know what they're doing, folks. So I'm not going to go there. But basically, the science is never settled, right? Science is a, a rigorous process of test and retest. You've got a hypothesis, a null hypothesis. If, you're, if you prove your null, null hypothesis, i.e. you fail the experiment as such, you don't prove your hypothesis correct, you establish a new test, a new method, and retest it, and you know, and start again. Basically, science is never settled. Science evolves. That's why we've got cool stuff. That's why I'm here in tropical Australia, talking to people. I've spoken and trained with people from Thailand, Germany. Jazz, I thought you were playing guitar tonight. I wasn't expecting you to be here. Uh, awesome that you turned up, though. I sent your T-shirt today. Proof of concept, folks, that there is a, a winner for the first time of the old um, Start Building Me challenge. Uh, it only took, it, is it only Tuesday today? He's ahead of himself, ladies and gentlemen. Round of applause for Dave. I'm just so efficient, folks. Uh, you know, I'm just ahead of myself. So the garbage doesn't go out tonight. Interesting. Thanks for that, Jazz. Nonetheless, it's still a race against time. People who are here know what's to do. Start squatting. I can't see you, and I'm glad that I can't because I might start using those slogans that I hate. And uh, uh, time, okay. See the the Streamlabs, the cloud bots come back, Jazz. So I noticed it had been it had been screwing you out of points and minutes, and I was just like, we cannot have this. This is the most important person that comes to this chat, and. Uh, does his training methodically, doesn't whinges, is uh, going to be here every time. So yes, exactly. It shall be inbound. I can give you the tracking, but if you've got the post app, I'm sure it will show you because it's already in transit now. Um, well, it hasn't been scanned probably yet because it hasn't hit the plane yet. So uh, it was exciting to try um, the that was just my iPhone 13 today that was set up on a sort of ghetto tripod. That's why it kept on falling off. But I figured out a better system where I can use my RAM mount and suction cup to the window of my uh, kitchen. And it looks back exactly on the place of the patio where I train and my basically, you know, my domain because it's much nicer to train outside than it is here. So before I keep on talking about grip strength and having a break, I've had a lot of food just then. For some reason, I was so starving for the first time in a long time and I ate a whole bunch of pasta, so I'm not gonna feel like doing too many squats, folks. But nonetheless, I've done a lot of exercise today. I've had far too much sun, as it was revealed today. I've got a shino ball, ball o head, patented Homer Simpson. I would stick my head in if I could. Feels good for summer and get a bit of uh, sun on my noggin, which is good. My hair is so thin as a 40 year old boomer that, uh, <laughs> yeah, my scalp's gone brown anyway because <laughs> my hairs, they do nothing, <laughs> which is why I shaved them off. See, it's, uh, it's yeah, it's smooth indeed. I'm gonna get one of those, you know, handheld razors that I can run my fingers uh, like over my head and do. 
See, it's already slash throwing up these slogans that I have programmed in. So instead of having it on the back of the screen, which was instructed to me by a successful YouTuber to keep it standard, um, is my hat disappearing there? That's weird. Um, to keep it uh, suited here and then CloudBot can keep everybody in line and uh, I'll put in bannable words and stuff so people can't, you know, talk BS, which is always annoying, but, you know, it's part and parcel of Twitch and gaming culture, I suppose. But like I said, you can use Twitch, you can use YouTube, and if I use the multi-stream chat, if I've got more people on, then I can speak to people on whatever pro protocol that they're running. Facebook doesn't work because Facebook book wants the data and Cloud, sorry, Streamlabs, which is I think a part of Creative Labs, said, you know, go to hell, this is our data, and rightly so. So anyway, before I get talking about grip, I'll execute a few squats and do them at your leisure, folks. Like I said, if you do one and you didn't do any yesterday, then hey, that's an improvement. That's what I'm aiming for, is to get that healthy habit and not oh, healthy exercise, healthy diet. Healthy as in that you want to come and exercise and not just here that you'll be getting to a point where you'll be like, hey, it's an amazing day outside, I'm gonna go walk around the block. And then that's another block of exercise that's complete. So you've really got to break things down into really, really simple, small, easily digestible, coordinated exercises. So one which is not so easy to coordinate, but it should be something that you should be able to accomplish, which is uh, a resistant exercise under good old Newton's uh, gravity in the sense that you really want to support your body's gravity, uh, your body's weight, folks, rather. It's something that is, uh, you know, nothing too complex. It's, you need it to stand up in the morning, sit down, stand back up, and that's exactly what a squat is. You stand in parallel, the bot's going nuts. Hands out to a counterbalance so you don't fall backwards when you're sitting back into your heels. The weight is going to the outside of your feet. And I'll change the camera in a second and show you. And breathe in, breathe out, breathe in. The timing and repetition isn't relevant for these folks. It's just to get your blood pumping a bit, start to get the point of what it's all about. You'll feel yourself perspire a little bit, get a bit sweaty. You'll feel a bit of a buzz, right? When you're exercising, you should feel a bit of a buzz. And, uh, you know, endorphins are as good as it gets, folks. There's ain't, ain't no better feeling than an endorphin rush. Uh, so do whatever you've got like this. Take a few minutes, then take another squat. Think about what you're going to eat. I had pasta. I took eggplants, fresh garlic, fresh tomatoes, fresh chili, blended it up with more tomato sauce, Italian herbs, uh, chili powder in addition um, and olive oil and then just simmered that for ages so it became really spicy olive oil and pasta shells just a bit of uh, what did I have on top of it I put something on it oh yeah olives I've just got our Kalamata olives that I stirred through it perfect hadn't eaten anything all day so it felt really good and I've had so much sun today as we hit, head into spring that I've really got to eat more. Having a bit of carbs and pasta is good because it will help you retain water because there's carbohydrates in them, which will mean it's good for when I walk the dogs tomorrow. And my, I think I walked the dogs six kilometers today and gave them a break because when they came back, they were so parched. I took my camel back with them. I was hydrated <laughs> when I was going, but they wanted to chase after wildlife and be complete gooses, geese, complete geese. And so, um, what could I do? I ran out of water and we only had uh, about 20 minutes left and they just got back and capsized and passed out on the floor and had a big pile of, dry, of slag next to their head, which was quite amusing. Uh, I'll change up the camera just because I can and get into the hang of making my production a bit better. I've got to get an entry screen. I'm going to pay somebody on Fiverr to do it, but I'm not going to pay them a Fiverr. I'm going to pay, pay them a decent amount to make a good one. Took rid of the weird blue kettlebell because it's like I said a weird blue kettlebell so normally people want to stand with their toes 
their feet parallel, line up your toes so they're on an imaginary line going across there. And what you're doing is keeping everything more or less symmetrical. You don't want your knees rolling in like that, folks, which is why I'm always saying the weight goes to the outside of your feet. Outside. Your feet have arches for a reason because you get stability from an arch, right? Why do they have archways in castles? Is because they're strong. You can pile stuff on top of them exactly like our arches in our feet. So breathe in. Stand up. Now, like I always explain, if your flexibility is bad, so what ends up happening if you take that stance like I do, you f I find if, even though my spine is neutral, my back is leaning forward like that. A way that you can mitigate that is to take a wider stance and not rip my shorts, uh, even though it wouldn't be the worst thing that's happened to me online. 45 degree angle, and that will keep your back in a more upright position. More important if you're doing barbell squats, uh, belt squats like I do to take the load off my back. Don't have to be such a stickler or go such so wide, but nonetheless, I did used to really enjoy doing sumo squats as they're called. I could do a lot more weights than with regular squats. So again, I've got a sort of cadence dial where it sort of looks like a gym, but you can do whatever cadence you want, whatever feels nice. Just don't uh, overdo it in the sense that if you start doing a lot of repetitions of a compound movement, just think of uh, CrossFit, folks. CrossFit is a concept where they're training a lot of Olympic lift exercises, snatches, clean and jerks. Doing it for time, for discipline, where if you're an Olympic lifter or power lifters, generally train single reps. Uh, if they're going to be doing it in <laughs> a fashion where they're going to be doing damage, which, you know, CrossFitters do. Now, if you're young, go for it. You'll be like, oh, what do you know about? What are you talking about, old man? I know that I'm 40 and I'm not broken and I've never needed knee surgery, back surgery, all the stuff that every athlete that I know has needed. And so there's ways to do it. There's ways to be rehabilitated. And uh, just take it for me, folks. If you can avoid surgery, you want to avoid surgery. I worked in surgeries for about 17 or maybe not, maybe 15 years of my career. And after you've had surgery, it's really game over. It will either be reoccurring or sometimes, you know, you might get better, but you'll have weaknesses or there will be even scar tissue and stuff that can become a problem, folks. So avoid surgery like the plague. Do a bit of exercise, eat healthy, train here with Dave on Start Building Me, and, uh, and win some cool stuff. I mean, like I said, I've got cash. Uh, I, I, I'm listening, I'm listening, folks. It's not gonna be ridiculous. Like if you came and, you know, shilled people and had some sort of system going where you're encouraging people to go, then of course I'm gonna make it something better. But I mean, if it's just you come in and you're trying to improve your health and you're really just trying to get into a routine to stay healthy, as I said, the panacea of excellence in life is exercise, folks. You can have a pretty crappy diet as long as you exercise, you're fine. You can, um, you know, you can have pretty crappy sleep. If you exercise, you'll be able to sleep better the next night. There's a, a million reasons why you want to exercise and a lot of people that don't know eat healthy, they sleep enough, and they think that they, as a result, don't have to do any exercise. That is not the truth. In, over the course of my life, exercise has been the thing that literally pulls me out of the ashes, like the phoenix, you know? It's, you'll come back great guns, but if you don't do this, folks, you're gonna start seizing up. Use it or lose it, like they say. And see here, I'm being able to talk and do this. It shouldn't be so hard after a while. If it is hard to begin with, do box squats or sit down on a chair. Sit down like that on a chair and then stand back up. Sit down and stand back up. And this is an exercise that you should be able to do fluently over uh, a day. It's just something that has become uh, foreign to people because, you know, 
we'll hoik ourselves up out of our bed, do a half squat to stand up, sit in a chair, stand back up. It's like we don't have to put a whole lot of effort into life anymore. And um, the sad thing is the joke's kind of on you, right? Because as I always say, exercise is so revered because you can't cheat it, you can't pay somebody else to do it for you, you can't buy it. You've just got to do it yourself. And people are like, oh, you can get cosmetic surgery and implants and stuff. Yeah, and look at like a complete and utter turkey. And it doesn't make you look healthy. Everyone can see through it like a million miles away. Just think of the newspapers where people are like, ha this person's had another facelift. Like it's dead obvious, you know? The only way you can look healthy is by actually being healthy and exercising folks. Get away with murder, drink beers, eat junk food. I love McDonald's. I have McDonald's at least once a week. And when I go, I go large. I get like two double sausage, uh, yeah, sausage and egg McMuffins, a Mighty Muffin meal with two uh, hash browns and a large coffee. Like, it's like $30 of Maccas for myself, but I exercise every day. And I don't eat Maccas every day either, but I wish I did. So, um, so yeah, I think that's, uh, I've done uh, enough squats tonight. I'm gonna go back to my foot cam whilst playing with this and getting a bit more used to it. Now, because this is a beginner's instructional, I'm trying to explain to people with push-ups, right? If you, like chin-ups are such a great exercise and I do, well, speaking to this camera now, I, and I do chin-ups every day, people really don't understand how important the upper body coordination for a press or a push-up is to help you do chin-ups as well. It's a, an exercise to basically keep your core stable and uh, for a push-up, a compound exercise like a bench press, you have to have that core stability that you do when you are doing a chin-up as well to execute it pro properly. So if you can't do any push-ups and you've never done them before, um, don't fear. I'll show you all the different variations quickly before I have to go and switch off my uh, garden. Uh, hose, rather. So there's this one, I'll do it from the side where it's basically a right angle, right? And all you can do is dip in and then push yourself back up. Now, you can sit back further and it will make it even lighter if your shoulders have issues, or you can lean out more and then adjust your hands as well to a point like that and do push-ups like that. So you're just exercising your shoulders, getting a bit of tension in. You might also just want to take a stance like this, lean forward a bit, and then sort of like a bridge. And there's my garden timer. Thanks, Mr. Watch. Probably listening to me, sending all my uh, data to the lizard people. I mean, maybe. There's no maybe about it. <laughs> Smithers, do you think my power plant is what killed all those fish? <laughs> no, those ducks? There's no maybe about it, sir. So anyway, you can just lean forward like that and put a bit of pressure on your shoulders and just hold it until it starts to burn and then rock back on your knees, right? And then try again. And that's strengthening the ligaments and tendons. It's an isometric exercise. So isometric, same length. It's uh, not going through a flex, a flex and extension. So, you know, two ranges of motion you're just keeping um, an isometric hold, which is the best way to gain strength. That's why gymnasts are brutally strong. Isometric training, think of the rings and holding themselves in that crucifix position. It's uh, incredible control. Once you've got that down, you might want to rip it out to get your blood pumping a bit. One, two, three, four, five. And sit back, chill out, think about what you're going to do next when old man Dave lets you go. And, uh, oh, I, and or whatever it's called, that's what I'll be watching tonight. Put my head back in the frame. Um, I got sidetracked last night. I get sidetracked a lot at the moment with Townsville and Start Building Me. I just love it so much. It's really good to be working on two companies that you're actually interested in. <laughs> Speaking of healthy habits, two companies that I actually want to do stuff for as opposed to dread going to work. Uh, I used to always think it was, you know, it's BS that you enjoy your job. 
I think this is the first job other than bouncing, and uh, I won't talk about that on a G and PG channel, but um, bouncing I enjoyed doing. Um, but I enjoy this a lot more, it's a lot more positive. So I'll do another five, rocking forward. If you've got a strict push-up, even better, do a couple of them. Even if you just come and learn how to do 10 push-ups a day, that's amazing. Yeah, I mean, I'm always my own boss, bro. I'm, I am the boss, you know what I'm saying? No, I'm joking, but yeah, 100%. Just doing something that you're passionate about and then what you actually care about. And for me, it's health. Uh, Beatles coming along well. Pick it up from the audio electrician regaging some of my loom that was a bit of a fire hazard. Stay tuned. Next, I'm going into two different custom shops to have body modifications done because I don't have plasma cutters and welder. Um, so I can put either a bus or a WRX or WRX STI, so five or six speed Subaru transmission where you sw switch the pinion direction. So even so, because it's backwards, right? The Beatles engine's in the back. So if you flip the polarity essentially of the transmission, uh, so the cone is facing forward in the car, um, then the engine is counterclockwise turning as well at the flywheel, so it will give you propulsion in the right direction. So um, I was going to rebuild the VW's engine as an air-cooled, you know, Ferdinand Porsche, Ferry Porsche style um, Beetle, but like the bang for buck in horsepower, like to make a 160 horsepower engine for a Beetle, is probably 15, 16 grand. For two and a half grand, you can get an FB25, which is the updated Forester engine. So not EJ25, like the Rex and the STI have, but the FB25, two and a half grand, and it's like 157 horsepower stock, right? So two and a half grand versus 17, 16 grand, I think, or so for a, a equivalent beetle engine like it's just the aftermarket prices are ridiculous so um that's why i'll be potentially looking to switch it up with subaru gears and um have the car going sideways just joking it's a promotional car i just want it to sound cool look cool have uh coil over shocks that have ride height like electrical electrically like ride height adjustability not pneumatic like rappers cars but just so you can have like off-road height drive height and then park in height, you know, and have different switches on your desk. So you can just like drive it from the road and have a low center of gravity. So the Beetle doesn't, with a short wheelbase, feel like it's gonna take off. But then when you get to the beach, you can pop it up, get like the Baja style, and have a bit more clearance so you don't get it under the water. Easy choice, go with the Subi, 100%, man. It's just, the price is ridiculous. This way you can get a Haltech system as well. So Haltech, like Motec, Microtech, any of the e aftermarket ECU manufacturers can have like external LCD dashes that have the, you know, uh, tachometer, oil temperature, coolant temperature, all different things, uh, exhaust gas temperature, oxygen sensors in the, um, so you can like improve the combustion and the ignition time and all that stuff, it's just, far more interesting to me as well than just going full mechanical. I will keep the mechanical engine and rebuild it, but not rebuild it for horsepower, just re rebuild it as a backup to stay strong. All right, I'm gonna do more push-ups and uh, we'll call it a night. That's uh, 30 minutes and that's about what we usually do. Uh, sign up folks if you're lurking there and you are wanting to participate and you don't know how to approach me, I'm very easy to approach. I'm basically just a 40 year old boomer nerd that wants people to actually exercise and you know, develop their own character instead of some stupid game character. Not that I didn't play a million hours of Diablo 2, II, Diablo 3, uh, uh, trick out my character in Counter-Strike, Global Offensive, whatnot. I'm just saying, shed 20 minutes, 10 minutes even, 
The cloud bot will be watching. It takes your time, it takes your points, and I will be giving prizes. So the more people get in, start off at the bottom, the ground floor where no one else is here. All you have to do is turn up and I'll be buying you and sending you stuff. It doesn't get easier than that, folks. 10 more push-ups and then I'm out. As I always say, and I haven't been saying here for the last uh, few times because I haven't been doing push-ups, spread your fingers, folks. It makes a bigger platform for your hand. It's telling your brain that you're gonna do something with your hands, so it will give you stability. Breathe in at the bottom to give yourself stability. You're filling up your lungs with air, so. And then after a while, you'll be able to do it without having to be so mechanical and rigid with it. But um, that's what you're aiming for, right? So you get that stability from your breath and from spreading your hands. Keep your head up, looking forward. Tense your butt. Your butt and your toes should be really, really tight. And that will give you some more stability as well. And I'm done. Switch it up to this camera. Get back to Andor to start watching. Andor, I think Andor is what it was called. And uh, can't remember what I was doing. Anyway, love it, mate. It's uh, seriously the highlight of my day is just hanging out and shooting the proverbial and uh, trying to spread a bit of, a bit of love to the world. <laughs> Have a good night, man. I'll uh, let you know how that uh, new TV show goes. See you later, folks, if you're watching and aren't commenting or if you haven't had much um, or you're catching up on it later, stick with it and I'll speak to you soon. Nice one. Will do. 99.